Taboo of Death Manifesto of a Snuff Film Director by Thomas Miller. Hey, I, Ken Horowood, am a snuff film director. Yes, you read that correctly. I make films that capture the very essence of death, the ultimate taboo in our society, and I am not ashamed of it. In fact, I embrace it with all my being. For me, death is not to be feared but to be celebrated, explored, and immortalized through my art. As a child, I was always fascinated by death. While other kids were playing with toys and chasing each other around, I found myself drawn to observing dead insects, dissecting small animals, and watching violent movies. My parents and teachers were disturbed by my morbid curiosity, but I didn't care. I knew that there was something about death that fascinated me, something that I couldn't quite explain. It wasn't until I stumbled upon a snuff film at the age of 16 that I found my true calling. The raw and unapologetic nature of the film captivated me, and I couldn't look away. I watched it over and over again, each time feeling a rush of excitement and thrill course through my body. It was then that I realized that death was not just something to be feared, but it was also something to be enjoyed and even sexualized. For years, I suppressed my desires and tried to conform to society's norms. I went to college, got a degree in film, and worked on mainstream films. But my passion for snuff films never died. It was always there, gnawing at me, begging to be unleashed. And I finally gave in. I left my job, and I started creating my own snuff films, pushing the boundaries and exploring the depths of human depravity. To some, what I do may seem sick and twisted, but to me it is art. My films capture the raw, unfiltered truth of death, making it a thing of beauty. I believe that death is the ultimate form of expression, and through my films, I can give it the attention and respect it deserves. But being a snuff film director is not just about capturing death on camera. It's about creating an experience. Every aspect of my films is carefully orchestrated to evoke a visceral reaction from the audience. From the haunting music to the gruesome props and set design, I want my viewers to feel like they are part of the film, that they are experiencing death right alongside the victim. I take great pride in my work and strive for perfection in every frame. I spend months researching and planning each film, finding the perfect location and the perfect victim. I want to create a sense of authenticity, making my audience question whether what they are seeing is real or not. And sometimes it is. Yes, I have crossed the line and have made films that involve real deaths. But to me, it's just another form of art, pushing the limits and challenging societal norms. And the rush I feel when filming those scenes is indescribable. The adrenaline, the power, the thrill of being in control of someone's life and death is like nothing else. Some may argue that I am a monster, but I don't see it that way. I am just a man who has found his passion and is unapologetically pursuing it. And I believe that my films serve a greater purpose. They make people question their own mortality and their views on death. They force us to confront the taboo and think about our own desires and fears. But my ultimate goal as a snuff film director is to create a lasting impact on my audience. I want my films to stay with them long after they have seen them, to haunt their thoughts and challenge their beliefs. In a way, I want my films to become a part of them, to awaken their own dark desires and fantasies. In a society that is so afraid of death and tries to hide it away, I am here to bring it to the forefront and celebrate it. I am here to remind people that death is a natural and inevitable part of life, and we shouldn't shy away from it. Instead, we should embrace it, explore it, and even eroticize it. So, to all those who judge and condemn me, I say this. Open your minds and let go of your preconceived notions. Embrace the taboo of death and join me in celebrating its beauty and power, because in the end, we are all just mortal beings and death is the one thing that connects us all.